Well, it is a heartfelt gesture made 365 days a year to honor the nearly 3,000 victims of the World Trade Center attacks. News 12's Virginia Yui shows us how remembrance blooms every day with 9-11 birthday rose tributes. Every morning, a ritual of remembrance echoes through the sacred grounds of the 9-11 memorial. Thomas Mahon. A single white rose is placed on the name of each victim who would have celebrated a birthday that day. God bless you, John. God bless you. The flowers are hand-delivered by 9-11 memorial volunteers, including 81-year-old George Moronis. To me, it's a special respect to the person who's not forgotten. The memorial's birthday rose program began in 2013 as a reminder that the 2,983 victims of the 2001 and 1993 World Trade Center attacks once lived vibrant lives. Kevin, happy birthday. On this day, Kevin James Murphy of Northport would be celebrating his 60th birthday. Happy birthday, Giovanna. And Giovanna Porras of Queens. She died so young, she would be turning 44. My heart goes to all the victims. Moronis's dedication to the birthday rose tribute stems from his own brush with death on 9-11. He was working for Daiichi Kango Bank on the 48th floor of the North Tower. I hear a boom, and then I just look out the window, and I saw papers and glass coming down, and it looks like a, like a snowstorm or something. Moronis escaped unscathed, but not untouched. I lost 16 friends and 23 co-workers. He carries their names in a pocket-sized notebook wherever he goes. I still feel deeply sorry for those that I lost and all the other people and their families. I do. That's the reason I do volunteer now. That desire to give back is also the reason why Tribeca florist Mikey Colorone got involved with this tribute. On 9-11, Colorone saw the first plane hit the North Tower. He spent nearly a year helping with the recovery effort. To this day, I still try to serve. Colorone now donates every white birthday rose. It shows that we always remember and we never forget. Every day, at least two victims are remembered. Valentine's Day has the most birthdays with 17. On September 11th, there are six. While honoring the fallen, the birthday roses also bring comfort to the living. He's just such a bright soul. Jamie and Ryan Nelson's father, FDNY firefighter Peter Nelson of Huntington, made the ultimate sacrifice while saving others in the South Tower. He would have turned 63 in October. He's my hero because he really always made me feel safe and loved and, and, you know, showed me what was important in life. There's not a day that goes by where I don't wake up thinking about him first. Knowing that there's someone down here that thinks of my dad every day or every year on his birthday is comforting. For all the lost souls of that day, these quiet acts of remembrance speak volumes in a place that never forgets. Virginia Huey, News 12, Long Island. Memorial staffers take photos of the birthday roses for family members who are unable to visit on their loved one's birthday. For more information on requesting a photo, log on to our website, news12.com. Click on numbers and links.